Hi, welcome to Lady Yeti's Kitchen. So today's recipe is a goosey, a goosey soup, delicious a goosey soup. So over here I have cow foot uh, meat over here and uh, it's already clean and washed with vinegar and I'm just adding the seasoning over here. I'm adding thyme, curry, uh, paprika, ginger powder, garlic powder, onion, black pepper, whatever seasoning that you have at home and you can always add it to it. And I'm adding my seasoning over here, adding salt, onion, and water. So the thing about cow food is that it takes long than usual meat so this cow food is gonna cook for a long time <laughs> I mean for a while so I'm gonna have water and let it cook uh, as much as you can if you have a pressure cooker would be a better idea but if you don't have just use your pot use whatever you have and this is about one and a half hours later as you can see so and I'm mixing it together you want to mix it together and add your beef I'm ha I'm gonna add beef to it and the beef also is already clean and washed with vinegar as well so you want to add your beef uh, the reason why I cook the beef together is because the cow food usually takes longer and uh, I just want the cow food to cook a little bit more so that is the reason why I cook it together beef don't usually takes long to cook maybe 45 minutes the beef is already done and this is the back ribs beef by the way so and you just want to mix together and you want to try to push the beef to the bottom so that it will cook uh, well and you just want to add a little bit of water again and let this cook for about 45 minutes and over here i'm adding my pomar cow skin i put it out from the freezer rinse it and put it together and let it cook as well and just cover it up and let it do its work and over here we're gonna move to the pepper I have two large uh, bell pepper, scotch bonnet, and uh, onion, and uh, yeah, and the uh, onion and the other pepper, whatever, whether red chili pepper, people call it different, whatever you call it, it's right there. So you just want to blend your pepper, and that is it. And that is it. You could blend your pepper the way you like to be blended. Over here, I have uses a seed, and uh, you want to make sure you pick up the dirt uh, and blend it as well. Uh, the uses a seed it usually give your food taste when you put it in any soup. That is my own opinion. So over here, I have. Um, a goosey over here the blender goosey so and i just had the onion to it so uh the meat is already done at this point as you can see the meat is done so you just want to drain uh yeah you want to drain the meat you want to take the meat out and uh, transfer the meat stock to another pot so that we could start cooking the agusi and that is what I'm doing right here so I'm just transferring the meat uh, out of the port and transfer the stock meat to another port and this is the stock meat right here I transfer it to another port and I'm gonna add my uh, agusi right here and I will mix it together with the stock meat and uh, you want to make sure all those lumps are dissolved you want to use your spoon to mix properly 
make sure all those lumps in egg will see dissolve and you want to let this cook uh, for about 15 minutes or so and uh, gradually you add more water as you go so over here i just had uh, a little bit more water and let it cook egg you see supposed to be cooked properly because it's a seed as well egg you see also is a seed uh, that is blend together so egg you see is not just uh, 15 minutes 10 minutes that you will cook you want to make sure your egg you see is properly cooked so that is why i like this method there are different way of making egg you see and this is just one of the methods so over here i'm just gonna add my oil palm oil red oil and um, you just want to let it cook you want the greasy to cook with the palm oil um, for about 10 to 15 minutes again um, because you want your red oil to cook and you want the greasy to cook and uh, you could call this fry method at this point, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I like this method. I like this method. There are different ways. Maybe in the future, I will show you another ways that I like to cook my APC. But this is one of my favorite way of cooking APC. And also my grandma, my grandmother likes to cook uh egg see this way also this is one of our method as well so over here i'm adding my pepper my blend pepper you could add as much as pepper you want it's depend on your tolerance for it so you want to mix this together and um, you want to mix it together you want the pepper to cook with the egg see because uh egg is already cook properly at this point the goose is ready to go so over here i'm adding the crayfish i had three tablespoons of crayfish and um I'm ha I, I also had my blended uzisa seed right here i had one and a half tablespoon of that so you want to mix it together you want to let the scissor seed cook uh, with the egg seed properly. Mix it and mix together. Look at that egg seed right there. Hmm. So over here, I'm just adding the meat, the boiled meat. And um, yeah, we just want to mix it together and let it cook also with the egg seed. Let them marinate together. And even at this point, if you don't want to put a um, vegetable in your goosey, this is good at this point. If you like to eat your goosey like this, it's good at this point. So over here, um, I'm just tasting for uh, salt to make sure everything is okay. So there is no need to add um, seasoning again or salt again because i use all the meat stock so i didn't add any other seasoning to it so i'm adding a uh, frozen spinach over here that i have at home so you just want this to cook for about two three minutes the heat will cook the spinach at this point because the egg greasy is already done look at that I like more spinach in my egg greasy, so I had uh, more a little bit more spinach to the egg greasy, and that is what you see right there. That egg greasy mm, is one in town. <laughs> when you hear what in town, that egg greasy is so delicious, and you could use this to eat anything: pounded yam, fufu anything you like you can eat it with anything 